Hey guys, um, so this morning we had our St. Ignatius Mass. That's half day. And then tomorrow is a holiday. Um, first, I'd like to give a shout out to you one. Um, you know who you are, you one. I don't call you Mark. I, I don't know if your friends call you Mark. But I'll call you you one because I'm used to it. Oh, uh, and I'd also like to thank him for two, for a suggestion. Actually, that's one. He asked for a shout out. The second one is he gave a suggestion on the content or the would-be content of these vlogs. Uh, in the past vlogs, I've been discussing how I distress myself. And it's just random stuff normally. This time, I'm planning to add some content in it. I mean, it could be random. We never know. But he actually said, try to review some stuff that I'm interested in. And pretty much, I think that's where this entire thing is going. It's like a, an online diary that everyone can read or, or well, uh, well, see. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a try. And the first thing that came out in my mind, because after the event, my friends and I, we created characters and started a little, a short campaign for Dungeons & Dragons, which we've been doing for a while. And then I realized I've been table, I've been playing tabletop games for quite a while now. And uh, when I started, of course, the normal things that I played are the board games. But even with these given board games and card games that comes with, with materials in them, sometimes there will be things that you will be needing along with the game. Okay. So uh, let's get started already, and this would be very interesting. So what I'm going to discuss with you today are game essentials. Things that you will be needing or you might be using if you plan to be in the hobby of tabletop gaming. So let's get started. Okay, so there are plenty of things that you will be needing for... for um, for gaming uh, well you will not need a lot of them you will just be needing some of them in when you start but in the long run when you go into this entire hobby you will find that you're actually going to look for these things so I'll just reach one of them so let us begin so the first essential is or are rather sleeves gaming sleeves these gaming sleeves sleeves come in various sizes various uh, textures various designs and um so you will be needing to either bring your cards or your games in the shop to test them out or you simply can research sometimes the gaming shop where you buy your games will tell you what's the necessary card sleeves for the game it helps in protecting and preserving your cards so that it doesn't get older especially that you're going to buy them and you're going there you're going to be spending a lot of money with them so you might as well want to protect your games another thing that i find uh, well useful in games are containers these well you can have other containers. This is what's available. What are containers for? Sometimes cards will have these um, counters. And, for example, coins. Uh, damage counters. Uh, victory points counters. They will have they, them. And <clears throat> you can choose either to just spread them on the table or just... Put the entire pile in one place in the table or for easier management you could place them in different small cups or bowls so that when you pick them up oh this is where the damage counters are oh this is where the victory points are oh th this is where the coins are and if the coins are many uh this is the container for the one coin this is the container for the five value coin and this is the container for the 10 value coin so it is very it's going to be very nice if you have these uh little 
little uh, containers. You, you don't need to spend that much. You could just get small cups. Or sometimes the things you get from the grocery, they have freebies. And your mom or your dad may not want to use them. So you could just ask them if you could use them. And you don't need to use one cup per game. You could use it one or five or how many ever cups for all of your games already. It doesn't have to be this, especially if you don't remove the big containers, okay? And you just sort it out during the game. So, very useful, very versatile tool. Speaking of counters, some games may require counters but do not provide one. So, it's very good to have counters. There, for this I have... Oh, no. I have marbles. There you go. There. Da -da. Well, they're not marbles. They're just flat glass thingy. And they're not expensive. Uh, an entire bag of these I bought from the from from the market. They're just what? 15 pesos a bag? I bought two and it's basically less than 50 pesos. Which is less than a dollar if you come to think of it. Um and it doesn't have to be these, okay? For example, you have an entire stack of loose buttons. Buttons. Um, clothing buttons. You can use them. You can use them as counters. Um, or you have extra beads at home, which maybe your sister or your mom has used for a particular hobby, but they don't need it anymore. They wouldn't use it anymore. You can borrow them. You can ask it for, from them. And they're very useful, very helpful. They can be used in many, many games if you just open your mind and think creatively. They will be very useful. That's why I like to keep these handy around me. Um, and it makes, you know, it, it's beautiful, it's colorful in your, uh, in your games. Another thing that I'd like to have is an, a minute glass on our, on, or an hour glass. You can get this almost anywhere it's so common a thing oh of course if you want fancier minute glass then you could buy a fancier one to impress your friends oh let's play let's play I, I will use my minute glass what are these for sometimes games might take too long especially if decisions are required um if you know games will be like that you can start by adding a rule which says if the game is taking too long already, you will use this to, like, it's it's timer. It's a timer that will, you know, help you decide uh, faster. So it's like, oh, your timer is ticking. You decide now. You decide now. Now this is a little bit uh, slow. But then again, it's a minute. It will help you decide. It will help your friends decide quicklier. So there you go. These are nice. Another thing that I find useful is a gaming mat. Helps you also protect your games because you place them over the table besides the actual table. And if you're using cards, it's easier to facilitate the the flipping or the getting of cards because sometimes you just uh, find it difficult to pick them up. It doesn't have to be that. Uh, sometimes when I'm out, I use this cloth it's my scarf one of my scarves so hmm, smells good uh you can use them but of course if you use them you have to put them on laundry right away because yeah i mean the table's dirty right but uh cloth it's easy to pick up the cards pick up the counters pick up everything right so this is nice another thing that i'd like is a player count player marker so there player marker uh it's a Lego Captain America, but as a player marker, I just uh, use them. Sometimes you have games which needs markers to walk around. Sometimes in Dungeons and Dragons, you if you know to easily imagine things, you have a player marker. This is me. This represents me. A player marker is nice because it's a representation of you in the game, so it helps in many, many, many games. And perhaps the most versatile and the most needed of all is, well, the dice, right? 
the this the dice, uh, especially the six sided die. <clears throat> okay, you will need them. It's very very useful in games. It can determine the first player easily. Uh, it can actually be used as a counter, especially if it's just less than six that you're counting. Uh, it can also determine quarrels, fights. It it settle fi settles fights between uh between contradicting elements in the game. Uh, well, and and the best is especially in some board games, it helps you determine how many steps you take. And what I have is actually a set of Chessex dice. Especially for my Dungeons and Dragons. You have the D4. Because the highest is 4. There you go. You have the D6. Highest is 6. You have the D8. You have the D10. And D100. Which normally comes combined. You have the D12. I hope I'm correct. D12... And you have the most important dice in Dungeons & Dragons, the D20. Which can also be used for many versatile things. Okay, there, 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 there. Okay, and that, so that's it. Another thing that you will be needing is a notebook and a pen. For What for? You can use this to track, especially if you're playing with friends regularly. You can use this to track victory points, uh, who won a particular game. Who's remaining? It's just a thing. Or you can use this to track um, games that you've played, uh, stories that you've made. And one important thing is you could use this to track your expenses, which is very necessary, especially if the game is expensive. And there you have it. Those are all my um, gaming essentials. Gaming essentials. Um, I use them all the time. I bring them in a toolbox. Well, the toolbox might be the essential. Might not be. You can just put them in the bag. But, um, what about you? Did, did I, do you play tabletop games? Did I forget something? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, you can share and subscribe and like this video. Um, and then I'll, I'll see you again. I'll see you next time. Bye.